Once upon a time, I was at the art store when I saw this little tiny travel watercolor kit called a semi-moist watercolor kit. I also saw this set of watercolor paper postcards, which I thought would be so cool to doodle on and then send them your way. At the end of the video, I'll tell you how you can maybe get one of these 10 postcards in your mailbox. And until then, let's doodle on these postcards. I am so excited. Getting into this watercolor kit, I was really hoping that semi-moist meant that it wasn't going to be as chalky because this was a cheaper watercolor set, but no, it, it was still very chalky and kind of hard to work with, but eh, it was fun. Semi-moist just means they aren't just this solid brick of a watercolor chunk. It's kind of wet. You could even touch it a little bit and it would be kind of moist. I will say though, that tiny little watercolor brush was so short for my giant man hands. It was really hard to work with, but I just thought, you know, I'm just going to use the watercolor set in its full fullness and I'm going to use this tiny little brush. And it was very awkward, but I did it. Also, did you see it took me about five minutes to get the dang thing out of the set? It was a struggle. So getting into these postcards, I thought it was only appropriate to have these themed to Canada because postcards are something you buy when you're at a place and you send them to someone. So I figured, well, I'm in Canada. I will theme these postcards to Canadian things. So I got started with animals and of course a beaver. A beaver is the first thing I think of. So that is exactly what I doodled first. We have a little beaver just kind of, I don't know, floating, levitating in the sky. And just to fill in some space, I put some birch trees on either side and then put some leaves on it to add some color. And there you go, there's our first postcard. <music> to continue the theme of animals, my second, I guess, most thought of animal when I think of Canada is a moose. Of course, you gotta have meese moose, mooses. Oh boy. Unfortunately, here on Vancouver Island, we don't even have moose. So that's kind of un-Canadian and very disappointing as someone who moved here. So I really wanted to just go all out with the stylization of this moose. I mean, look at those antlers. They are just... What is that shape? I don't even know. This is a baby moose, so it's all lanky and weird and it's laying on the ground and I just thought I would put some plants and stuff around it, make it all cute. I even made it purple because why not? And there you go, a moose. And our third animal is going to be a Canada goose. You can't not include the animal that has the name of the country in it. That would just be, that would just be silly. Plus I actually really love drawing birds for those of you that aren't new to my channel, probably know that. I just love the way I stylize birds so simple and they look so stupid. Just look at those little feet, those little legs just sticking out. Yes, I know birds don't fly with their feet pointing forward like that, but it was just so goofy and silly. I had to do it. This time the animal being in the sky with a blue circle in the background makes a lot of sense because it's a bird. It flies. Put some clouds up there and there you go. Looks like this bird is in the sky looking stupid. And for all we know, it's probably looking for its next victim to poop upon because that's what birds do. All right, our next postcard is something I definitely think of when I think of Canada. We are now leaving the animals and we are going into food because heck yes, food. So of course I had to draw something maple syrup related and once again, I know maple syrup doesn't come out of birch trees, but you know, gotta be inaccurate with things I want to draw. I also thought I would go a little abstract with this one. Don't know why, I just thought, well, the original idea was to have the syrup coming directly out of the tree and then going all over some pancakes or waffles or something. But for some reason I thought it would be more fun if I went abstract. So I just drew four ovals and painted them yellow and orange. And there you go, there's our abstract stack of pancakes. Don't know why I did that. So yeah, uh, four ovals covered in maple syrup, anybody? <music> Next 
Next up, I had to be shameless and include my characters. So we have Hatch being very enthusiastic about Canada. I was thinking about drawing myself becoming a Canadian citizen or resident or whatever, but I don't know. I, I don't really like to draw myself that often sometimes. I just like to draw other things. Plus, Hatch is more cute, more fun, and as something I'm giving away, it just feels weird giving a drawing of myself away. Like, yeah, I feel that great about myself. I think people want drawings of me. So anyways, Hatch is more cute. So we have Hatch running around with a tiny Canadian flag and mixing colors to get Hatch was really weird. I just, this set of colors was really weird and not the best. <laughs> Okay, let's get back into food. If you guys don't know what poutine is, it is a big pile of french fries. So starting off great, yum. Covered in cheese curds, which is basically just big chunks of cheese. Again, delicious. And all of that topped with gravy. Now, if you Google this, it looks like diarrhea vomit and it does not look great. The first time Dave told me about poutine, I was like, this looks absolutely disgusting. But you know what? It's absolutely delicious and absolutely not good for you, but dang is it not good. So you know I had to draw poutine. We have a tray of fries and cheese curds and of course my classic drippy stuff that is the gravy going on top. It's always fun drawing food being dissected and not just sitting there in a blob. Poutine is one of those foods that's just really hard to draw because much like the pictures of it, it just doesn't look the best. So dissecting this food and having everything float was a lot of fun. So I like this one and it's colorful. And now I want poutine. At this point, I thought it was time to get into more experimental stages. So I wanted to do a lineless style and also layer the watercolor because that's what watercolor is all about. And I do want to start incorporating that more into my art and illustrations. So I thought I would go simple for this one and play with shapes and color. So I drew a mountain because mountain, when I think of Canada, especially here in BC, I think of mountains and nature and people camping and everything's all naturey and stuff. So I just drew this really simple blue mountain and then started making triangles and circles for really simple trees. And then later on, I went in with a pen to add some details just so you, you know, you really knew that those were trees and not just random shapes. And I really like this one. It's simple, but it's really cute. And I just love the way it looks. It's just, it's so cute. I like it. Because I enjoyed that previous one so much, I thought I would do the same thing, but do an alternate version. So this time we have a snowy version because again, when I think of Canada, I think of snow. And then here on Vancouver Island, we do have a mountain where people can go skiing. So it's a snowy mountain. So I did the same thing, but this time for the mountain, I did a negative shape, so I kept it white. And then I made a really dark blue for the sky and a light blue for the ground. I mean, the mountain is ground. So when I was going in with my pen to add the details, I was adding the tree trunks of the trees that had lost their leaves for the winter. And I thought, well, I should probably keep the triangle trees because they're probably evergreens. But I had a really good color scheme happening. It was blue and yellow and orange. And I didn't want to go in and had the stupid random green. So eh, all of the trees are sticks. I like it. And apparently I was so inspired by that lineless and abstract style that I went through and did a second poutine drawing. I just really wanted to play around with the fries and everything really interacting and overlapping each other and playing with the transparency of the watercolor, which probably didn't make the watercolor as transparent as I probably should have. But oh well, I think this still really turned out cute and fun and I really like it. 
All the shapes are super simple. I wanted to have a blue background so that the cheese curds could just be the white negative space. And the gravy is just weird little ovals and circles floating above it. I really like this one. It's fun, it's simple. It's just really interesting to see how different something can be, even though it's the same thing, but it's just drawn differently. For our final postcard, we have Dennis. I, I had a really stupid, vague idea that just didn't turn out well, but I went with it, cause why not? So I was originally thinking that Dennis could have painted red arms to represent the Canadian flag, the two red bars on either side, and then on the center, like on his belly, he could have a red Canadian maple leaf painted on him, and then he could look silly, like he's a Canadian flag. But as I worked on this piece, I quickly saw that this was not going to look like that. And then I just knew that once I started to put red paint on his hands, it was going to look like blood, which is a very classic Casey move. So forget it. I went for it. Is it blood? Is it paint? Who knows? But that's that. <laughs> So there is all 10 doodles on these postcards. If you want a chance to win one of these, just click a link in the description and the pinned comment you have until through Monday to enter. You don't have to do anything, just say, I want to enter. I do need your email address and address, obviously, if you win, so make sure you're comfortable with that. And that's it. Click the link in the description you have through Monday. Good luck. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. And now a huge thank you to my wonderful patrons for all of their support. You guys are the best. If you want to be in the credits at the end of my videos, see secret sketches, coloring pages, early access, and more, check out my Patreon by clicking a link in the description. Thank you guys all so much for the support. Bye.